Hello boys and girls and welcome to Kids on the Living Edge. I'm Miss Shayla and I am so excited about our lesson together today. First, let's go over our rules. Love, listen, and learn. When we love, we listen. And when we listen, we learn. And when we learn, we grow. And who are we growing to be like? You got it, Jesus. So. Last week, we learned all about how we obey God by worshiping Him. Did you know that obedience is a big part of worship? Well, it is. And today, we are going to learn how we obey God by loving our families. This week, we're gonna learn about loving others by taking a closer look at our commandments. Honor your father and your mother. Do not harm other people because life is special and precious to God. And seven, husbands and wives should always keep their promises to each other. Well, I'm excited and I'm ready. How about you? So let's get buckled in. Grandma's cap, grandma's classes. And because we're taking a road trip, let's make our seatbelt snap. And put your hands in your lap. Here's Callie. So, I don't know if any of you are up this early, but it's about 6 a.m. here, and we're halfway to the Niagara Falls! I'm excited! Hold up! Do you hear that? Is that an owl? In the city, I've never even heard an owl or even seen one! I've never even slept in a sleeping bag before outside! Guys, you know me by now, right? Well, I think you do. One thing I can stand is when someone Namely, my little brother takes my snacks, eats them, doesn't tell me, acts like it never happened. What am I supposed to eat in here now? I'm just about finished all my snacks. Oh, oh, is anyone hungry? I don't even know where we can get food out here. Nope, no way I'm going for food out here. I'm so hungry. Do you have a friend that you can call every single time? And they'll answer? Well, that's my buddy Chip. Callie? Hey, Chip. I know it's extremely early, but hey, I thought I'd just call you. What you up to? Sleeping? What's up? Chip. I know you have a new sister, right? And like tons of other brothers and sisters, have they ever done anything to you that got you so mad? All the time. Just last night, they broke my toy. I was so angry. And they eat all your food and break your toys. I think my road trip would be so much better without this little guy munching off my food. It's that bad? Yes, Chip. He takes my toys, takes my snacks. I know you love your snacks, especially... Teddy Cram cookies. Yep, but I have a story I want to share with you. It's time for our Bible story. Last week, we learned the third and the fourth commandments that God gave Moses for the people of Israel. So far, commandments one through four have all been about how we can love God better. But God gave us rules for how we can love others better, too. I'm excited. The fifth commandment is to honor your father and your mother. Is that like listening to them? That's part of it, yes. When we honor our parents, we listen to them because we trust that they know what's best for us. It's our way to show we love them for loving us so much. Actually, they do love us a lot. They sure do. And they want to make sure we don't get hurt. The sixth commandment says that we should not do anything to harm someone else. Even if they're really mean? Even if they're really mean. God is not happy when humans hurt each other. That's why God gave us the sixth commandment. That's commandment number seven. The seventh commandment says that people who are married to each other 
should keep their promises to each other. That's a nice rule. It really is. So when we honor our parents, don't hurt others, and keep our promises to each other, we show our love to God. How? Because God loves all of us. So when we love each other, we are in fact loving God. So God wants me to love everyone in my family? Even my brother? Even your brother. So I didn't tell you how the story ended. My brother broke my toy and I got mad. But of course. He said he was sorry and it was a mistake. I could tell he was really sorry. So I told him it's okay, it's just a toy. But get this, my mom was so proud of me for being a big brother, she promised to replace my broken toy with a new one. Wow, that's so awesome. Well, maybe I can be a good big sister too. Maybe my brother was really hungry. Good point, Chip. Thank you for reminding me that we obey God by loving our families. Do you mind if I go back to sleep? Oh, of course, buddy. Thanks for chatting with me, even when it's like six in the morning. See ya. So friends, I have some making up to do with my little bro. It's really early and I think I'll get a couple more hours of sleep before everyone gets up. Maybe we will get something amazing for breakfast. Oh, I can't wait. I'm so glad I got to talk to Chip this morning. It helped me remember that loving my family is what God wants me to do. What are some ways you show your families you love them? Drop a comment and I'll get back to you. <sighs> After a quick nap. Latest. So this was so wonderful. We just learned commandments five, six, and seven, teaching us to honor our dad and mom by listening to them, teaching us not to harm anyone else, and teaching us that husbands and wives should keep their promises to each other. You know, God wants us to love other people because he loves everyone. God is not happy when we don't listen to our parents or when we hurt each other and when husband and wives don't keep those promises. So we have to be mindful that if we hurt someone else, we're also hurting God. But when we love them, we are also loving God. When God gives us a command, He also gives us the power to obey Him. So let us pray. Father, thank you that all your commands for us are good. Thank you that your commands protect us and help us to love you and others. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you boys and girls for watching. I am so glad that you tuned in today. Remember that we have to love each other. We have to follow our parents' rules and we have to take care of one another because this is an act of worship to God and it's also obedience. And we worship God through obedience. I'll see you next time.